Welcome to the Jim Show with your host, Jim. It is day five of the distraction challenge, or no distraction challenge, and I am definitely detoxing this morning. How do I know? I'm having some fairly loose poops. Yes, twice now already today. And I'm feeling pretty good, actually. And the reason I think that I am experiencing detox is because, like I said, one of the key areas of distraction for me is comfort food, cooked vegan comfort food, which is specifically like starchy things, so like mashed potatoes or pasta or like a vegan pizza or chips. So what's the common denominator here? Grains. I have completely cut grains out of my diet for five days now. The last time I did, did this was when I did the Whole30. No grains for 30 days. Felt great, definitely had detox symptoms uh, throughout that challenge. But I think that's probably the main thing that's going on. Um, I'm definitely in touch with my emotions more, but that I don't think that that would turn into a a physical detox symptom. I think it's probably a result of cutting out grains entirely. Which, if you don't know, grains are really not good for, for humans, any of them. Like, wheat especially is bad with the gluten and the other issues, but grains in general, they all have some um, issue, right? And the, and the issue with grains is that their defense you know how different foods have a defense against animals eating them? Like some have poisons, there's poisonous foods, um, what have you. But grains, what they do is, oh, I'm sorry, something else to explain about this is some foods benefit from being eaten because their seeds get pooped out, right? And then they, then they grow, so they don't care. Uh, some berries are this way, you know, different things. Uh, they, they, they like to be eaten by mammals. So they have no problem with it because that's how they get spread. That's how they survive. That is part of their mechanism for existence. Grains, on the other hand, when they get eaten, you know, if they do, they're just gone. There's nothing beneficial that happens to them. They are dead, gone, they're destroyed uh, when eaten. And so what grains do is they attack your gut. They attack your digestive system. They, I forget exactly what the term is for the little molecules that are in there, but they latch on to your nutrients and basically steal them, right? They, they latch onto the, the nutrients and they go out and exit your body um, and provide no benefit. That's part of what grains do. And they also mess with your intestines. Like a lot of people are saying, oh, let's get quinoa, for example. Well, quinoa actually shoots little holes through your, your intestines, right? So, so grains in general, quinoa may be more, uh, one of the worst ones that we're trying to say is, is great now. Like they're all, grains just in general are bad for your digestive system. But that's what leaky gut syndrome is all about. It's grains messing up your digestion, making holes in it, right? So that your the food that's being digested then seeps out into your body, which is why you have an autoimmune response, which is why you get allergies then to that stuff because this food, these food particles that's supposed to stay in your digestive system are now leaking out into your body. And your body's freaking out saying, what are these invaders? And then they go after them, then you develop an allergy. All right, this is all because of grains. Um, and you know, leaky gut is also a lack of nutrients. People have all kinds of gut irritation, all kinds of problems from that. Plus the whole gluten thing that, that some people are really sensitive to. So like you can have a gluten intolerance and be, you know, especially sensitive to this stuff, but everyone, all human beings are negatively affected by grains, period. It's important to understand. And like, you know, sprouting grains reduces those negative effects. Um, that's probably the main approach to make them more, less destructive to the body. So it's not like grains are horrible, you know, um, if you cook rice and then put it in the, in the cool it for a while, for example, a lot of those, those effects are lessened. So there are techniques, right? You can, you, there's, are, there are ways to make grains still an effective part of a diet. If you're in a, if you are in a situation where you don't have, you know, much other options, like there's ways to do this. Societies have flourished on grains. Like I'm not saying that's impossible. 
because that's the worst thing ever. But if you have other options, then you should take them. For example, vegetables are superior to grains in every single possible way, every way. They give you more nutrients. They give you all the nutrients that grains give you. They give you more of it because they're not stealing it from you. They just have more anyway. Like in every possible way, vegetables are superior to grains. So if you have the option to eat vegetables, don't eat grains at all. I mean, I, I get that you like them, but don't eat them, right? And there was something else that I wanted to mention about this, but I think that I've totally forgotten it. So that may, that may be it for today. It was there, right? It just bloop. So anyway, I think that that's what's going on with me. I have, I have removed grains for, for five days as part of the no distraction challenge. I'm feeling great, having some detox symptoms, um, but it's really going well, loving it, and I will see you tomorrow.